everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Reaction Therapy. I'm your resident psychotherapist, Tom Stevens, here to break down lyrics to some awesome music. And today, we get to fulfill a special request to someone who was in our live stream recently. James, this one's for you. Thanks for being so generous. Thanks for being so supportive of Reaction Therapy. Thank you for your service to our country. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Nick and I are grateful for you, not only for what you've done to put your life in front of others, but also to support our mission to spread mental health awareness to the world through music and lyrics. And James, you put this song out in front of me. I am ready to do it. Mitch Russell, A Soldier's Memoir is the song. I can't wait to get into this because I love personal requests whenever I get the chance to do them. It means a lot to me. This whole channel at Reaction Therapy is about mental health and it's about relationship and it's about all of us coming together. It's why it's grown so big, so fast and so close. It's amazing. Go to our Discord server. You'll see over 2,000 people chatting there all the time. Check our memberships and subscriptions on Patreon, YouTube. They are out there with more content just like this. Go check it out. But without further ado, James... This one's for you. A Soldier's Memoir, Mitch Russell. Been home about six months now And I still have my doubts Well, I'm not sure how I got here Or how I'm gonna get out Well, my mama says I look the same as I did before I left But if she could see inside of me It would scare her to death well, I can still taste the powder From the barrel of my gun And I can hear my sergeant screaming Run, soldier, run And I can feel the back Boy, this is so much of my work with PTSD that I've done. Talk about EMDR all the time and, and doing work with people, whether they've served in the military, whether they've been in horrific situations. But this one specifically, it is the truth when we talk about people who come back from serving in the military and the stories they can tell and the, the situations that they've seen real life in front of them that most of us here in regular life can never comprehend. We can't fathom. We can watch things on TV or in movies all day long, but it's very different when it's in person. And they go, they come home and they go on with life, but they look very normal on the outside, but they've got all these things. That, that was so cool how it flashed into that scene of battle. All of this going on in their head many times 24 seven. And so when they hear a sound or when they see something or somebody, or, you know, they smell something or they feel something, all the senses can trigger you back to where you were before and can make you remember that. But especially the memories of the people and the people you've lost, the people who've been hurt, the, the hard times, it's not just about like a being in a sports game and you remember the memories of playing in this game. It is horrific and it's very hard to get over. But boy, you come back home, people think, hey, you're back home, it's great, plug back in, it's awesome, and it's just not that easy to do. Backpack on my shoulders, got and wait a ton. And I see death in every single thought. Mm. Well, they taught me how to put that uniform on. I just can't get it off. Oh. What a great line that was. They taught me how to put this uniform on and I just can't get it off. In other words, it's with you. You know, in my field, like with what I do, dealing with death and loss and trauma and addiction and all kinds of horrific things sometimes, nothing like what somebody would have to serve in the military would go through. But I relate to that because it's important for me to take off that uniform I have as a therapist sometimes and just be regular. And I think I can do that here at Reaction Therapy where I can just be myself. And I have to be a dad and a husband and a friend and, you know, a, a good person in life and not just always walk around carrying the weight. But that is one of the biggest challenges, I think, for somebody coming back from the military is how do you take the uniform off? 
How do you let yourself take the uniform off and live a regular life? Piece by piece, balance keeps me stable. But getting help, getting good mental health help is really critical because that can allow you to have a chance to unburden yourself from what happened. And that's really the key. Anytime we've been through some kind of trauma or heavy situation, how do we unburden ourselves from what just happened so that we can live a normal life? Last Saturday, they honored us in a small parade downtown. And when they shot off those fireworks, oh. I nearly hit the ground. And while they smiled and cheered for us, all I could do was stare. Because part of me is here at home, but part of me is back there. I can still taste the powder from the barrel of my gun And I can hear my sergeant screaming, run soldier run And I can feel the backpack on my shoulders, got it weighed a ton It's just so much in this. Like, talk about getting you in your feels with this. If you can really just think for a minute what it's like to be put in a traumatic, life-threatening situation on a regular basis, and then all of a sudden you're plugged plug back into regular life, and you're at a parade and people are celebrating you, which is great, and you love it and appreciate it, but at the same time you feel like you're triggered right back to there. Fireworks cars backfiring, all these sounds can bring you back very easily. So it's fireworks just like that. Fireworks don't always mean wonderful celebration for people on July 4th or New Year's or whatever party you're doing. Many times it can mean tragedy, it can mean death, it can mean trauma, it can mean alert. It's the PTSD that sometimes never gets cured and can haunt people from the military a long time forever and have mental disorders because of it, because they never were able to heal from it. That's why I talk so much about EMDR, right? Because there are treatments that can help with PTSD and can help people kind of process through and desensitize the brain to the traumas that were there. But wow, you know, he sees death in every thought. Like it's constantly around you because you're in a hyper vigilant state, right? That's what you were trained to do. And now all of a sudden you're in regular life and you don't know what to do. Same as police officers who are around death and violence all the time. It's very hard to just turn it off. The police officers I've worked with in my office, they're always on alert. They're sweet, wonderful people, but they are always alert to what could be, what could happen, where they are, who's around them, and sometimes can't just settle down. It's really hard to do. I just can't get it up. I can still taste the powder from the barrel of my gun And I can hear my sergeant screaming Run, soldier, run And I can feel the backpack on my shoulders Got in weight a ton And I see death in every single thought well, They taught me how I just can't get it all. I still go through my life. I still get home and, you know, go to the day to day because that's what life goes on, right? But it's still up in here and it's still at the back of my mind, at the front of my mind, honestly, and always in an alert state. And boy, what it's like to just go back to normal. Uh, but boy, it, it creates lifelong issues potentially. It's why I say getting a good mental health professional matters, especially when you've been through this situation. It's kind of a cost of doing business and a good insurance policy to help keep sane and stable. The trouble is in our field, many times there's not super duper qualified people 
mental health wise to be able to help somebody go through it. They're just kind of checking the boxes or maybe they haven't been trained really in trauma and knowing how to understand how to help people work through it. And so you end up getting kind of so-so or watered down treatment. That's what I'm not for, right? I'm speaking out against it. It's my profession because I want everybody to be as invigorated and passionate about their field and healing people as I am. And I want people to be vigilant about getting the best training they can get to be able to help people and have the services to do that. So, man, James, this is awesome. Well, the devil's won some battles, and he may win some more, but don't he know the American soldier will always win the war? Wow, Mitch Russell. A Soldier's Memoir. What a great way to put a song and a video together. James, beautifully done. Thank you so much for that request. Again, another example of people at Reaction Therapy who, number one, are kind and generous. Number two, love great music. And number three, want to spread mental health awareness to the world through music and lyrics. And a song I possibly never would have heard if it wouldn't have been for James. So thank you for sending that my way. Boy, would it be cool to interview on our podcast, Mitch Russell, and talk to her. Why am I saying Russell? It could be Roselle, right? So tell me what that is. But what a cool thing it'd be to interview him and talk about this story, because I don't know if it's like a story of his. I don't know if it's a story of somebody he's heard or if he's just telling somebody else's story. That's the beauty of this. I listened to it for the first time. I just don't know, but I hear so much mental health in it of potential of people to get better and people to have a better life in spite of all the trauma that they've been through. And people who have served understand that. I haven't been there. I've just worked with people who have. But boy, what a great message this is to know the devil's won some battles. And you know what? He might win some more. It's really likely he's going to win some more. But the soldier is always going to win the war. The soldier won't quit. The soldier will keep fighting. And that's the beauty of him in that video going on with his life and his career and his, you know, doing his thing. So thank you so much. Remember, this isn't real therapy, just Tom breaking down lyrics to music. But if you want professional help, check the links in the description of this video. There could be some there. Also, go to our Discord server. You want to chat with people at Reaction Therapy? They're there, over 2,000 people. They are wanting to talk to you about Reaction Therapy, about this song, about PTSD, all kinds of cool stuff, and maybe just regular life too. But go to our Patreon page and YouTube for memberships. We have more content, live streams, all kind of stuff for you. Go check it out when you get a chance. And I can't wait to see you on the next Reaction Therapy.